Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Evil Genius 2. In the last episode, we got through another chapter of the main story quest, and now we have more loot and other side missions to do. We've got a ton of them, so let's not waste any time and get started. I was taking them from the bottom upward for no reason, so let's do that again. Let's go with going against the grain. Do you ever wish you could turn back time? No? How about slow it down instead? Find the legendary Sands of Time and use their powers to help you. You! Tell me about the Sands of Time! Well, some say time is like a river. But I know different. It's a bunch of sand in a large hourglass. I know what they are, you tillabook. But what I want to know you is how do I get my hands on them? What was the word she just said? She didn't say imbecile. Unless she pronounced it really weird. You have to figure out what she said. They're an ancient and mysterious artifact, missing for centuries. Tracking them down will be difficult. Well, you better get started, because if you don't find them, your time might just run out. Okay, Polar, shit. The Sands of Time are shrouded in mystery. We need to research them and figure out where they will appear next. Anyone has a calendar? Yeah. So is that... wait. Yeah, research project. Okay. Research is going well. We've researched just about everything we can at this level. So at this point, it's just a matter of micromanaging our devices to make sure they work properly. I don't remember putting this in here. I guess I must have. It's been a week since I played, so whatever. Oh, and Polar's over here. Great. So, yeah, now it's just kind of a waiting game. It didn't take very long to complete the research project, however, we are once again needing to do stuff on the world stage in an area that I do not have scouted. So once again, it's time to increase the size of our control room. This might get a little di- wait, how far can I dig now? I still don't have the level 2 diggy do. Yeah, I still can't do that one. Okay. So, I'm going to need to get the diggy do's soon. I hope that's unlocked. I I think I kept meaning to look that up and see if I have that available yet. Let's see. Level 2 Diggy Doo. To unlock this feature, you must progress further through the campaign. Okay. Well, so it goes. So I need to expand our control room. I don't have to, of course. I could just juggle our areas a little bit so I can get access to the Western Anvil provinces and get the loot, but bah, may as well increase our capabilities for now. The Temporal Defense Squad are here, and now the Sands of Time appear to be in four places at once. We'll need to take care of these saboteurs and steal the sands. So, as before, I'm just gonna do nothing, and I'm gonna see if our traps can do the job for us. Since we have everyone coming into the one choke point now, I can sort of keep my eyes on it. Sort of depends on when the saboteurs actually get here. And we'll have to keep an eye on those hallways, but I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll probably be fine. We should be fine. Oh, good thing I wound up increasing my broadcast power. So we finished that part of the quest. And now the Sands of Time are in four different places. I see I can get to three of them, but the fourth one I'm going to need to re-scout. That's Western Hammer. Everywhere else we should be able to grab the mission well enough and easily enough. Over here in Western Saber, Wrecking Bola isn't even watching me. And we're still doing nothing but running heat killing missions in every region because I don't need the money right now. Um, then the other thing I did, I built a new submarine and I specifically built a worker submarine because that's the wild card one apparently. So we'll just send that out over here. And now we have most of our areas covered, which, wait, there's one I don't have covered. Oh, my new nemesis is hanging out. That's fine. Once again, once the heat kill mission shows up, there it is. We'll just grab that and she'll ignore it. So, we're fine. We're, we're good. Even with all this money I'm spending, we're not really going through it that fast. I guess maybe 
Maybe I could shift one or two areas into getting cash. But you can see I've got 400 grand, and I just spent a bunch of money. I expanded the power room up here a little bit. So, we're fine. This is, man, it's never been easier to be an evil genius, even on hard mode. Has been established. Kill all the saboteurs in your lair from the Temporal Defense Squad. This time they won't come back. This is the last task we need to do to get the Sands of Time. And I'm curious how our traps are going to do. Watching how the saboteurs have been operating so far, we haven't been touched. They come into the casino, they hang around for a bit, then they walk through the laser traps and either die, or they're stopped, and they are pushed back. The only change I'm going to make to this hallway is I'm going to add a camera, which helps if I go into building mode, just so I have a little bit of extra range paid. to use spotting power now that I fully understand how that works. I don't know why it's taken me three runs to understand how that works, but anyway. Task complete. The Temporal Defense Squad have been finally taken care of. See, I don't even know when or where that happened. Oh, there they are. Yeah, so traps were fired, but we didn't have any combat, maybe? Hold on. I didn't see... I didn't click it quick enough to see what bodies these guys were carrying. But at least three of those five body bags were the temporal spies and they just got baked from our laser grid. So, <laughs> I mean, these this is almost too easy the way I've made these defenses. I almost feel like I'm cheating, but look at that. Nine laser walls, that's all you need to survive in the game. This is fucking hilarious. Um, I think for an experiment, I should change those up, though. Let me see real quick. So the laser grids, they cost 16 grand and cost four power. The poison darts are a quarter of the cost and only two power. Okay. But I don't think they hit as many. So here's what I'm going to do, just for some experimentation. We're going to sell off the laser walls in this hallway, and instead I'm going to put poison darts every couple of tiles. So, let's see, two power, right? One, two, three, four, place. One, two, three, four, place four place one two three four place all right i've lined most of the hallway with these with the dart traps spaced evenly apart and you can see at the bottom here i'm gaining sixteen thousand and eight power total even with this number of poison darts so i'm wondering if that'll be a net positive and that's all i'm going to wind up needing if it still works the same way, where the enemies will be hit by the trap and not even care, then I can line the rest of this hallway with them too, and then if anyone even manages to get to the laser trap, the laser traps will finish them off. The only downside, though, of doing that same strategy for this hallway is I don't want to poison someone and then have them kind of wander back into the casino and then die, because all that's gonna do is upset the investigators who might be there. Like, these two jerks are investigators. So if someone just dies in the middle of the casino, they'll take a picture and possibly leave, and that'll just make things worse. So it might be better to leave these lasers, but if these poison traps are enough, then we'll be good to go. This is really informing me for run four because, I mean, I don't think Evil Genius 1 could have worked this way, but I admit I've never tried to try to funnel everybody into a kill box, but it totally seems to work here. So why should I do any other strategy if that's the one that's going to work for me? Anyway. We have to steal the Sands of Time from the world stage. There we go. And hopefully we steal it for good this time. 
And another quick note while I'm waiting for that, I am now operating with only one active money mission and we are back up to our maximum vault capacity. And now we have a new piece of loot to add to the collection. No cutscene. Let's start now with the Flooded Empire. The work of an evil genius is fulfilling, but it's also costly. With the oceans open to you, you've hit on an ideal source of free wealth to finance your evil, the treasured-filled ruins of Atlantis. Send your submarines out to claim its lost riches. Side story begun. Scatter your submarines to the seven seas and search for the ruins of Atlantis. Don't feel the need to limit yourself to the Atlantic. They could be anywhere. During one of those time skips, I've built a third worker, or a second worker submarine, so now we have four total. This one is still the valet submarine. I decided to go with the worker submarine because, for one, it's cheaper, and for two, it is the wild card, so it can be used apparently for any mission if I understand the system properly. We're also at 73 engineering. I'm going to give the order to research a soldier submarine. Because that's the only one we don't have. And even, uh, even for this mission, I have a feeling I'm going to need it. So, may as well start the research now, right? But I still have enough tech left over. I could make another submarine if I needed to. So, let's see what's going on here. Alright, so there's one over to the west in the Pacific, which I will still need to scout. And then we have one over here, which has the item I need. Alright, so let's cancel this mission. And then start it here. It makes sense that I wasn't able to- Oh! Hello! Wait, let me click you. Why can't I click you? The game does not want me to click this guy. There we go. Deep Six is a master diver of Jaws. He's also the only master diver of choice, a responsibility that stretches him quite thin. Shipwrecks, oil spills, endangered whales caught in a maelstrom. No matter the situation, the first responder is always deep sex. Okay. And he's watching me now, so he's gonna come in the lair soon. Well, we're gonna learn all sorts of interesting things today, aren't we? In the meantime, we still need to scout. Scouting will at least bring the submarine back, but this is a good time for me to make another submarine. Let's do another worker submarine. Can I build another one? Okay, I gave the order. Ah, that overrode. I'm just seeing how the system works. So that overrode my research into the muscle submarine. That's okay. So now we've got another submarine ready to go. Let's resume this. Okay, it's not like that cost me anything. Excellent. Okay, so we have another yellow sub. Can I... So when I was arranging my submarines, I couldn't move my valet submarine. I'm going to see if I can move it now. Now that I have... Now that it's here. Because I couldn't move it when it wasn't here. So let's do a little experimentation real quick. Can I shift this? Yes, I can. Okay. So I just can't move them if they're out on a mission. For you. Which is fine. No more smooth sailing for me, huh, buddy? I'll, I'll let you know the second I'm intimidated, I promise. So, I just slowed the speed back down to normal long enough for me to sort of... get my bearings here. Oop. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. There's an invalid tile? Oh. It'll take a bigger crew than this to sing me. I mean, I don't know what the hell is happening, but apparently he's in a fight somewhere. I don't know where he is. Yeah, I hear you constantly, but I have no idea where you are. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Where are you? You're up here? How the hell did you get up here? What do you ask of me? Jubei, Pyro, get over here. Feel my wrinkled fist. He's not really doing much against a, an abomination. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay, I mean, 
so what? He can just teleport into wherever the hell he wants? Oh, he probably can enter through one of the submarine locations. Okay. That's going to be trickier. If he can enter through any of the submarine locations, then he probably entered through that one, and that's why I couldn't stop. Okay, that gives me better reason to keep all the submarines together. Because we want to, again, as always, you want to direct all enemies into your kill box. So here's how we're going to handle that. We're going to grab a hallway... We're just gonna redo this entire room. Um, let me wait until the minions are finished here, because I have an idea. Is that submarine gone? No, it's here. Okay. So we're gonna wait until they kind of get all this organized. All right. So I need a hallway, and we're going to we're gonna we're gonna move things around. So first, we seal this room off. We hallway up. We do that. Let's move these over again. Actually, since the worker submarines are going to be more used. Let's bring them along this side. And then we... Let's see, this is the deception one. They still have enough room to get over here. And then we'll move the, the this one down here. And then now we have still one, a little bit of room for a military submarine right there. Okay. So now, if he must appear, provided I have his rules correct, if Deep Six must appear where the submarines are, then the only thing he can do at this point he can hit the submarines. That's going to be a problem if he destroys one. But if he wants to get into the base, he'll be required to come right into the kill box. And if this doesn't work... I mean, we could, we'll adjust tactics from there. But provided I understand his rules, he'll be easy enough to handle. So... Yep, here come the army of yellow shirts. Who the hell is that? I once that intruder found the thing. <laughs> like, why do we have a member of Jaws just wa Oh, I bet he comes with people. Yep, 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 yep. So this is also not a problem because what I'll do is I'll eventually flag the submarine room to be an auto kill. And then who cares? No one's going to be able to pop up without immediately dying. Here, Jabay, come take this jerk out for me, please. God, teleport is so helpful. All right, so that's that. So now, what else is going on here? Uh, okay, nothing. All right, everybody come back. Oh, and then this person's here. Wow, okay, so Deep Six probably came with an ass load of divers, which, again, that's fine, provided I set up the room tagging correctly. If he only comes out of the submarine spots, that'll be extremely easy to defend now that I know that that's the rule. Okay, so everyone back here. Recharge your all ener your energies and everything. Oh my god, they're fl fucking everywhere. God damn it, they are everywhere here. Why are they everywhere? Good lord. There, but I can think of no other way they could have gotten this deep in the base without going into the submarine spots. So... The earth is dying. You first. <laughs> that's a hell of a taunt. Um, Alright, hopefully that's all of them. But we'll keep our eyes on it. So... Oh god, so many things. Okay, so now we need to get that ocean scouted. This ocean has a mission. This ocean has a mission. Done. And then this ocean needs to be calmed down. Do I have another worker submarine available? I do not. Okay, I'm going to have to wait until this one is done from its scouting mission. I might want to get four worker 
subs. Actually, if I had five... If I had five worker submarines, that would cover me in each region. Because there's only five oceans that I can see. Five ocean regions that I can see. Alright, so... But that's future Pyro's problem. I want to wait until I've got the level whatever diggy-do to get through these rocks. I guess I could do it here. But... I mean, wait, can I... Hold on. Can I, fucking hell. Can I get through this? Let's forget. Yes, I can get through that. So... Yeah, I could do it this way. And put, put a couple submarines there. So... I mean, later. Like, right now, it's not a big deal. Um... Yeah, this should be fine. We should be alright. Okay, and also, I have my sands. Let's put our sands down, shall we? Sands of time. So this reduces the decay rate in addition to being a submarine. Er, a piece of loot. I'm sorry. My brain is still half asleep, apparently. Alright, let's just stick it here. It doesn't matter. I just want my minions to look at it. Okay. Actually, what it should go in the power room. Let's, um, let's sell off one generator and then put the sands of time in the power room. Because that way, no matter how hot it might get, if the sands of time works as I think it does, that'll help keep at least a small section of our power grid constantly operational. And as long as I have some of it doing that... Yeah, that'll cover eight of the... ...power... ...plants. Yeah, yeah, that's a good spot. So, once that gets put down- What the f- there is an intruder here. Kill them. Oh my god, okay. I am almost certain that's what's going on. That they're only popping out of here, so I need to flag that as an auto-kill room. I mean, it could be that they're just more numerous right now because we're doing the Flooded Empire side quest. But if that is what's going on, if they're only coming out of there and we flag that room as an auto-kill, like, these guys aren't gonna get anywhere. For the, for the short term, we can flag it as an auto-capture, just as long as we get them contained and so I don't have to pay attention to them. I guess for now... Let's auto-tag it as a distract? I mean, if it works, at least we'll put him in the casino. But... Hopefully that's enough to make that work. And, okay, so our Sands of Time is down. It says it's melting. Um... Okay, so it's not fully reversing them, but at least that means these eight power plants... Their durability is way lower now, so that'll help out. Yeah, yeah, that should work out for now. And then I had someone who suggested that I just spam... I have been reading your comments, I promise. Um, I did see that someone suggested that I should put some air conditioners every couple of rows to turn off the power. So far, for me, the problem is manageable as is. I understand the point that if I put the air conditioners down, then the things will decay less fast, and also my minions won't be as uncomfortable here, but it doesn't seem to be that big of a problem right now. Maybe I'll, maybe it'll hurt eventually, and I had those couple scares where they were constantly catching on fire, but it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal right now. The temperature system doesn't really seem to be that... It doesn't seem to be as affecting as they really wanted it to be. So I'm I'm okay with it for now. Um, let me get rid of these doors. They don't... They're not necessary. So... Yeah, I... Everything's fine. What ev Everything's fine. We're good. I'm kind of liking the way the submarine system works because there are so many worker minions that have to... Oh yeah, there they are! Yep, they just showed up there. Alright, 
All right, that should be. Yeah, they're they they showed up right where a bunch of my workers were showing up or gathering in order to go on a mission. Anyway, I really like this system because with the yellow submarines, the 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 worker submarines being able to be the wild card, it gives something for my minions to do because I have encountered several times where the there, there's just too many yellow shirts and not enough for them to do. So this should work out fine. We could even put an incinerator here just so this gets done a little quicker. It seems the distraction tag didn't help. But that's okay. Of course, even with the... Even if I put an incinerator over here, they'll still probably want to take the body bags up here just in case... They need to load the Abomination Creation Station? That's still not a bad idea, because now we'll have some... You know what? I'm just going to do it. I don't know why I'm even consider uh, debating this with myself. If we do that, we can move these over here, and then they will be closer to our... Yeah, they'll be closer to the center of the base. The creation station can stay basically where it is. I mean, heck, actually, if I cancel that order, I could add some batteries or something. Yeah, then... We'll just need to move our... Aperture science thing a little bit over. Can I just do the two? Ooh, I can. Awesome. Okay, so then we dirt wall that. And then we'll move the portal over here. There we go. Oh, and I can close this room off. Yeah, perfect. There we go. A little bit of a tweak. Mm, I seem to have encountered a bug. Here we see two yellow shirts who are waiting for the submarine so they can board it, but there is no submarine. And if we go to the me to the to the here, you can see that the submarine is here or something. So what I'm going to do is switch missions. Okay, the yellow submarine has left. So that killed the heat. Let's see if it's in my base. Okay, it is in my base now. So we're going to now order the mission to go. Yeah, now here comes everybody. I'm not sure what caused it. I mean, they've done a pretty good job. Rebellion has done a pretty good job of squashing some of the bugs. So I'm sure they'll figure that one out eventually. I don't know what could have possibly caused it because too much has happened over the last, I don't know, five, ten minutes. But yeah, it seems that that worked. That's fine. I mean, as long as it works, as long as we've got a work around. So, here's the thing. We didn't find Atlantis. Looked everywhere, but no joy. I see. Well, I do hope you enjoy personally informing our fearless leader of your failure. But we found something else. Rex submarine. Looks like some high caliber tech too. It could be useful. Oh, wonderful news. I'll run and tell the boss of our great success straight away. <laughs> ah, yellow shirts. The mysterious wrecked craft, the Nautilus, has the potential to augment our, your search for Atlantis. Get a team to work bringing it back up to seaworthiness. Complete crafting project. Okay. So, sure. I guess do that. I just finished poking around in that new sub. Even as a wreck, it's better than anything else in our entire fleet. Most peculiar, though, that its onboard documentation seems to suggest that it belongs to no one. Well, now it belongs to us. What do you mean? No one? The thing had to have been built by someone. No, the name on the certificate says Nemo. From the Latin, no one. Nemo means no one? Well, sounds like we didn't even see it then. And even if we did, the tracker's off. 
It's ours now. Awesome. Does that mean it's an actual submarine? Uh, the Srax submarine, the Nautilus, looks as if it could be a ke very capable addition to your fleet if it could be repaired, and we did that. Take the refurbished submarine, the Nautilus, and put it through its paces. Send it out on a test voyage and experiment with its scanners. They could be the key to finding Atlantis. I had a bit of an issue while recording this earlier. I think we're up to 31 minutes? I mean, 29 minutes now? My timer says 31. Um... All right, test the Nautilus on the world stage. I assume, yes. Okay, so it is a submarine. All right. So we'll expand this room out the way I r planned it for our, that hot second. And we'll see if we can cram the Nautilus in there. Hopefully it's not too large. Nope, it's the same size as any other submarine. Awesome. So, looks like I need to expand this out. And by the time I get done fiddling with this, I think think we'll be at 30 minutes so this is fine if this is a wild card submarine that'd be fantastic yeah i think we're at 30 minutes okay so i'm going to call it here we'll test out the nautilus on the world stage to start off the next episode and hopefully learn all of its little quirks and foibles and then get back to plundering the ocean depths just like I plundered the ocean depths of John Steele's mom. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.